distance as we pass the Somerset and Dorset goods shed. The three goods yards at Wells closed on July the 13th, 1964. The train awaits the passage of a Vauxhall Cresta at Kilver Street level crossing, and the guard, complete with red flag, stops the road traffic. Rusty cars litter the abandoned goods shed and yard as we view the bare track bed of the Somerset and Dorset main line at Charlton Road Station. Bitumen tanks were handled at Cranmore until the traffic ceased in 1985. The RCTS special arrives back at Whitham and returns to London via Taunton and Bristol. The signal box at Whitham was swept away on November the 26th, 1984 with the opening of the new Westbury panel box and is known today as East Somerset Junction. The station sign proclaims Yatton for Clevedon, although trains have not run to the Bristol Channel Resort since 1966. The former Clevedon Bay is now a car park, but the station buildings have hardly altered with the passage of time. Number 3702 will no longer be seen on the Cheddar Branch train. The former Branch Bay has also been converted into a car park. A high-speed train in the livery of Virgin Trains speeds through, heading for Taunton in the west. Weeds and bushes now cover the land once used by the Clevedon and Cheddar Valley trains. Of Congersbury, once the junction of the line to Blagdon, nothing remains except for pieces of platform edging and only memories exist of prairie and pannier tanks arriving from Wells and the steam rail motors departing to Rington and Burrington. Five one seven class O four two tank number five forty awaits departure from Blagdon on May the twenty second, nineteen twenty nine. The station today seems set in a time warp, as if awaiting the return of the little engine from Congressbury. The station buildings at Sanford and Banwell have been superbly restored by the Sanford Stone Company, the architecture of the buildings being reflected in the quality of the garden stone products manufactured here.
The station site at Winscombe, so well used by commuters to Bristol, lies forgotten and overgrown. What price now for a train to Bristol instead of the congested A38? The 180-yard-long tunnel at Shootshelve is now part of a public footpath from Yatton. The station buildings and goods shed at Axbridge standing alongside the Axbridge bypass with former track bed now covered in tar macadam, reminding us of our lack of foresight in the haste to close so many branch lines in the 1960s. Cheddar Station, another surviving building, is known today as Brunel Stoneworks. It is now used by Wells Cathedral stonemasons and echoes to the sound of stone cutting as the dressed stone is carved into exquisite designs, keeping the heritage of Wells Cathedral and other ecclesiastical buildings alive. The craftsmanship of the stonemasons who built the station so long ago is still evident. Draycott, another superbly restored station, still complete with its carved name set in stonework, is used as a holiday home for visitors to the Cheddar Valley. Only the goods shed remains at Lodge Hill, the station buildings being removed and used in the construction of the new station complex at Cranmore, completed in 1991. Materials were also used from Wells Priory Road goods shed. The station has been demolished at Wookie, but the goods shed remains, and St Cuthbert's paper mill, once served by the railway, can be seen in the distance. All traces of the railway at Wells, except for the surviving Bristol and Exeter goods shed, have now been obliterated by the relief road.
Shepton Mallet High Street station still survives, but not in the way envisaged by the East Somerset Railway on the opening day in 1858. The crossing keeper's house, where trains no longer cross, still survives at Kilver Street, and the bridges that once carried the branch line over the Somerset and Dorset Railway still stand in situ. Mendip Vale Station, on the present day East Somerset Railway, opened on June 23, 1985, and forms the terminus of the line two miles from Cranmore. Freight wagons stand at the end of the head shunt, marking possible extension of the line. Merrifield Lane Halt, near the former Dalton Stone siding, was constructed by the East Somerset Railway Volunteers in 1981, and from 1980 until June 1985 was the terminus of the line. A siding is in use here for the storage of freight wagons. Driver Alan Jeffries, who began his railway footpaint career in the Somerset and Dorset engine shed at Bath Green Park, opens the regulator and pulls swiftly away, while fireman Dick Masters feeds the firebox. Cranmore West, comprising a prefabricated concrete platform, was recovered from Ilton Holt on the Taunton to Chard branch line. The East Somerset Railway locomotives are stabled and maintained in the brick-built engine shed and workshop, constructed to a traditional design. Although locomotives of this class did not work on the branch, number 5637, on loan from the Swindon and Cricklade Railway, gives a GWR atmosphere to the present line.
The cast iron gents' toilet, once a common sight at GWR stations, still survives. And the original station building is still in use. Goods traffic, except for the bitumen tanks, ceased at Cranmore on January the 17th, 1966. And with the withdrawal of the bitumen traffic in 1985, the East Somerset Railway was at last able to steam their trains into the station. Stable coaches await attention in the spacious sidings constructed in 1904. The new station building, dating from 1991, includes a buffet, shop, art gallery and offices. The line from Cranmore leads us to the massive Foster Yeoman-owned Merehead Quarry, from which vast tonnages of limestone are conveyed by rail, hauled by Foster Yeoman and ARC General Motors Class 59 locomotives, working jointly under the banner of Mendip Rail. A General Motors switcher, seen here in the background, is used for shunting. On a very wet weekend in 1998, Foster Yeoman celebrated their 75th anniversary and visiting steam locomotives included two Class 9Fs, numbers 92212 from the Great Central and 92203 Black Prince from Cranmore. Class 59 Kenneth J. Painter has suffered a failure and is seen here being pushed into the maintenance shed at Merehead by Class 58, number 58001 Worksop Depot.